CockroachDB is a new type of SQL database that lets you build global, scalable, and resilient cloud services. To show you how it works, we'll start a distributed cluster and then demonstrate that CockroachDB offers high availability and consistent reads on all nodes. Before we start, though, let's quickly review some CockroachDB terminology. When you're using CockroachDB, you'll often hear two terms. Nodes are individual machines running CockroachDB. As you join these together, they form your cluster, which is your entire CockroachDB system. Because CockroachDB was designed as a cloud-native database, it's meant to run as a multi-node cluster. So this video covers deploying a three-node cluster with each node running on a separate virtual machine. Let's get started. You can see here that we've already connected to our three VMs and have one connection in each tab. First, we need to get CockroachDB onto each machine by downloading the binary. and then moving it to our path. With the binary in place, we prepare nodes to start by issuing the cockroach start command with a join flag, which identifies each node's host so they can all communicate. For the rest of the command's details, check out our docs on cockroach start. Next, we repeat this process for each node in the cluster. I'm gonna speed this up a bit because you've already seen these commands. Once that's completed, from any node in the cluster, we perform a one-time cluster initialization by running the cockroach init command. With that, we're up and running and can now connect an application to our cluster. For this demo, we're going to use a CockroachDB specific load generator to simulate a high traffic web service. Because CockroachDB supports the Postgres wire protocol for driver and ORM support, you connect applications to it just like you would any Postgres database, with the exception of using a different port. Now that the load generator started, we can view its activity in the CockroachDB admin UI, which we can access on every node using a browser. Here we can see important information about the entire cluster, including two things. Your cluster's overall performance at the queries per second it's processing, and the status of the nodes in your cluster. We can see right now that there are three healthy nodes. But what happens if a node fails? In a traditional single machine relational database, your database would go down along with any applications that depend on it. No SQL databases will keep your app running, but risk inconsistencies in your data. However, with CockroachDB, if a node dies, your application continues running by leveraging the other nodes in the cluster. And when you bring the node back online, its reads are immediately consistent with the other nodes. Let's see this in action by going to our third node and abruptly killing the cockroach process. Back in the admin UI, we can see that our summary panel registers that one of the nodes has gone down. However, our application has continued serving traffic. This means that the cluster was able to survive an unexpected machine failure without experiencing any downtime whatsoever, meaning it's highly available. Now let's go back to the terminal of node 1 and see what our data looks like by launching the built-in SQL client. Let's see how many rows have a v-value equal to the byte string 9. 50 rows total. Even though node 3 is still down, let's update all of these rows to instead have the byte string 01. Now we can see that only these 50 rows have that v-value. Switching to node 3, we can have it rejoin the cluster by running the same cockroach start command we did earlier. And it rejoins the cluster. Next, let's open the SQL client on node 3 and check for the updates that happened while node 3 was offline. And there we go, 50 rows with a v value equal to the byte string we chose, the same as we saw from node 1, showing that cockroachdb provided consistent reads from multiple nodes even if they were offline when the data was changed. So that's it. A quick tour of starting a CockroachDB cluster and seeing it's a highly available, consistent database. Give it a try by installing CockroachDB yourself.